Hey guys welcome back to another video from Easy Wi-Fi Help. Today we gonna learn how to set up Pixlink router in some easy steps. The first thing you need to do is connect your computer device up to your Pixlink router. You can do this over Wi-Fi, though, a wired Ethernet connection is better as it's more stable. Open up your internet browser of choice. Some popular web browsers include Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, or Safari. With your browser open, enter http mui.net or your Pixlink router's IP address 192.168.1.254 into the search bar. If you don't know your Pixlink router's IP address, you can often find it on the base of your router. Alternatively, you can search online for the IP address that comes with Pixlink routers. Configuring the Pixlink router once you have logged into your router, you will be able to start making changes to the settings of your choice. However, because there are so many options, you might not know where to start. A popular choice for first-timers is to change the username and password of your router, the same one you entered earlier. Changing the login details is a great idea, as the default login details get listed on the Pixlink website, so anyone can find them. And if anyone can log into your router, anyone can change the setting. Head to the general settings menu of your router. It is here that you will find the username and password field. Type your desired details into this field. save your changes. Another popular setting that people change is the details of the Pixlink router's Wi-Fi network. You can change both the SSID or Wi-Fi network name and the password by following the below steps. Multiple networks your Pixlink router could be a dual band or tri-band router. What that means is that the router provides two different networks, in the case of the dual band router. A 2.4 GHz network that, despite being slower, is more compatible with a range of computer devices. The other 5 GHz band is faster, and less prone to traffic congestion, though it will have a shorter range and only, works with newer devices. A tri-band router can have two 5 GHz bands and one 2.4 GHz band. Parental controls Some routers come with firewalls that stop malware from getting into your network. However, what if someone using the network intentionally visits a website where viruses and other generally unwanted content can be found? You could be a business owner trying to stop your employees from getting distracted or a parent looking to protect your child from adult content. Either way, your router's parental controls can help you stay in control. Network storage Your Pixlink router may come with USB ports. If that is the case, these ports allow you to make use of network storage by connecting a USB drive or external hard drive into the port. The additional storage can then get accessed by computer devices using the router's Wi-Fi network. Pictures, documents, and music can all be shared via the network storage. Traffic control Some computer devices such as a laptop used for streaming or a games console playing games online, require a higher internet speed when compared to a phone browsing Facebook. Router manufacturers understand this and have a system in place called QoS. QoS or quality of service allows a network admin to prioritize how the Wi-Fi network gets distributed. Wi-Fi network management is now easier than ever. Still if you have any issues to connect TP-Link DACO M40 then you can contact to our experts support at easywifihelp.com or https colon slash slash easywifihelp.com Thanks for watching.